Tonight's Vice Squad pattern is the Patriot Beetle, which is appropriate since this February 23rd is when we are going to assemble and present all of the flies we collected for Project Healing Waters in our fly drive. This beetle, although it looks like it's just red, white, and blue for patriotic sake, it's actually pretty good, pretty good color combination and the fish like it. This is a size 12070 regular shank wet fly wire like a little heavier wire on this one the foam is plenty to keep it afloat got some two millimeter by two millimeter foam I just took a sheet and trimmed it into sections and tying that couple of eyes behind eye lengths behind the eye. This is going to be our stripe on the back. And then I got a size 12 beetle body cut with the River Road Creations beetle cutter. And I'm going to start that about the same place and bring my thread back until it's just a tiny little bit down the bend. If you use a different hook, you may end up adjusting where that goes. Now, for an underbody, I'm going to use Peacock. And just a couple of strands is enough. To get them good and plush, I tie them along the length of the body. And then wrap the two strands forward. And then when I get to the eye, I come back through everything, and at this point I'm trying to make it good and thick. Now I'm going to bring my thread forward, and at this point, that thread is right at the front edge of where I tied in those foams. And I'm going to put in a five or six good hard wraps to form a base to tie down the back here. Now if you look at the beetle cutter there's a narrow spot the thread isn't always going to hit the narrow spot that's okay. I'm going to make a couple of turns leaving a little bit of space underneath. Pull the white foam over as a stripe Now, I don't go too tight because I don't want to cut the foam, so what I do is I'll lift it up and make a couple of security wraps right up on the hook. For my high-vis wing, I've got some gator hair. And what you've got in your kit is just enough for six or seven of these. So tie it in by the tip like that, and you won't have a whole lot of extra to trim. Now while I'm here, I'm going to cut that at an angle. Looks a little neater when I fold it over. Now when I fold it over, see I'm pushing that foam forward a little bit. So I've got a bit of a hood over the eye of the hook. Tighten up a couple. Now for legs, I've got Shaggy Dub. These things are just little spandex eyelashes, a couple inches long. And on the near side, I'm going to double it over. Just going to lay it. Lay it on my finger and then fold them across so I can place them right there in the notch. Now I'm just going to use two wraps because there will be additional wraps when I tie in the far side. Now I'm going to turn this upside down so I can 
get to it get it placed without any additional wraps on the on the thread here I'm trying to keep it at a just the minimum it takes to hold all of that stuff together so there I got about two turns on the first one took one of them back off to tie in the second side then I went back through with what would be a third now I've got it pretty snug I'm going to jump my thread right up underneath to the eye of the hook tie my whip knot Now on each side I'm just going to kind of stretch them into place, cut them at an appropriate level, and there you get some nice thin legs that will move with just a little bit of water current. So there we go, Patriot Beetle.